Good morning, my dear intelligent students. So, how have you been these days? I am pretty much sure you all are reading, learning and studying all the subjects very properly on a regular basis. I am your science teacher, Ms. Zainab Khan and I welcome you once again on my YouTube channel. And kids, I am really very happy to see this that you all are working really hard for your studies. That's really very good thing for you as well and for the teachers as well. Okay, so quickly mention your name, class and section in the comment box for the attendance purpose. And at the same time, do not forget to like this video and hit the bell icon for latest notifications. Okay. Okay, so students, uh, as you know that we are on chapter number one of book five, term two, that is states of matter. In our previous video, we covered few topics and uh, those topics were matter, molecules and atoms. Wherein I uh, told you what matter is all about, I also define uh, molecules and atoms. Let me give you a quick recap of those topics. Anything which occupies space and has mass is known as matter. And the smallest particle of uh, matter is known as molecules. And when molecules are broken down into very tiny particles, which are uh, totally invisible to our naked eyes, uh, they are termed as atoms. But today's topic is really very different. Okay, we will be gaining some more knowledge related to chapter number one, states of matter. So, without wasting any time, let's move on to our today's topic. Students, you can see three glasses over here. And this is our today's topic. Yes, of course, I'm not joking at all. You need to identify it out. Look it very properly. One in one glass, I'm having something very different. In second glass, we are having water, and third glass is totally empty. So now, can you tell me our today's topic? Think again. Yes, you can. This is related to this chapter only. Yes, you guessed it right. Our today's topic is states of matter. And kids, let me tell you that matter exists in three different forms. And those three different forms are solid, liquid and gas. Solid is your hard substance. Liquid is watery in form. You know very well what liquid is all about. And this glass is empty. But... Uh, how can you say this glass is totally empty? Well, absolutely no. This glass is all full of gas. So today we will be studying about three different forms of matter. That is states of matter. We will study about solid, liquid and gas. So kids, everything around you is matter. And these three terms should be clear in front of you. A solid is a form of matter that keeps its shape. That means solids are hard in nature. A liquid is a form of matter that takes the shape of its container. That means anything which is liquid, it is watery in form and it can take up any shape. A gas is a form of matter that has no shape of its own. Gas is totally invisible. And all these three things are totally different from each other. As you can see uh, here states of matter, it comprises of uh, solid, liquid and gas. Molecules in a solid state, they are very closely packed, tightly packed. You cannot move them until unless you apply a force over them. In liquid, molecules are uh, loosely packed and in gas, molecules are very loosely packed. Okay? So, basically, this is all about states of matter and you all must be aware of the molecular form of solid, liquid and gas. This diagram is important. Matter and states of matter are different from one another. Solids are uh, generally hard. They does not flow. Liquids can flow and gas is totally different it can flow in all the directions so all three are different from each other here you can once again see the molecular arrangement of solid liquid and gas solids are tightly packed liquids are loosely packed and gas they are free to move they are very free to move i want to show you example over here of solids liquids and gases solids you can see which are hard like guitar robot truck 
a pizza slice and liquids they are in uh, water watery in nature like your water juices etc and gas gases they are free to move they can move from one place to another they can move in any of the direction they want in a form of a gas or steam okay so one more example i want to show you here uh, which will describe it more clearly see you can see various examples of solids liquids and gases this will give you a clear image of solid liquid and gas and keep this in your mind and you can observe them at your home also maybe your sofa set it is in solid in uh, shape water bottle uh, water inside the bottle it is liquid in shape and uh, the steam coming out from your soup it is in gaseous form now states of matter solids they have a definite shape and a definite volume liquids have indefinite shape and a definite volume gases they have indefinite shape and indefinite volume so all the particles are very closely packed with each other in solids and particles are not very close together in liquids and particles of gases they are free to move from one place to another understood kids you know solid is generally hard this is the molecules in a solid and it does not flow seriously it does not flow so molecular arrangement is very tight in solids the force of attraction between the molecules is very uh, is in greatest uh, position among these solids and uh, we cannot compress it it is rigid in nature if we have, will apply force then it may be possible it can change in liquids force of attraction between molecule is less than the solids hence uh, liquids are loosely packed liquids can therefore be easily poured from one container to another thus we can say that uh, molecular arrangement of liquid is slightly free as compared to solids okay so you can see a complete change uh, from solid to a liquid both are very different from each other now third one we are having molecules in a gas they are very much free to move you know kids if you open a bot bottle of a perfume in one corner of room we can get the smell in another corner just because the uh, molecules are free to move from one place to another okay and this is also known as diffusion so this is all about the states of matter and all about our today's topic so kids that's all about our today's topic but do not forget to take your homework This is your homework. Recall what you learned about solids, liquids and gases. Tick the correct answer. You must do it very properly as I told you each and everything related to solid, liquid and gases. And this is very simple. These all are the properties of uh, solids, liquids and gases. Correct the you must tick the correct answer. Okay? Whatever I told you in video must go through the video very properly. learn the concept understand it very properly and then you will be able to do this table just mark the correct answers and uh, you'll be able to learn it more properly till then stay healthy stay safe take care goodbye